All right, guys, uh, so today I'm going to be showing you this really cool card trick. Um, it's kind of an old one, but essentially you started off by getting the two, let's use the two black aces, actually. Okay, so we have one up here, and then we have another up here. So at this point, what you could do is you could have the spectator go ahead and pick any card that they want to from the middle of the deck. So let's say it's this card, and I'm not going to be looking at it, guys. I'm going to be showing you the card this way. I can't see it, so hopefully... You guys all got a glimpse at your card. I'm going to go ahead, you put it in the middle, and from here, you can start off just by giving the deck a couple shuffles this way. Your card actually is mixed up and lost into the deck. So at this point, let's say, let's say we put your card somewhere, or you put one of the aces here. So you go ahead and cut the deck, you put the ace in there, we take another ace, and essentially these two cards, these two aces, are going to help us find your cards. As you guys can see, they are scattered throughout the deck. Push these in. All I have to do is give the deck a couple of cuts, and hopefully we should land at your card. So just like that, the aces that were once spread apart should have gotten together somewhere in the middle of the deck and found your card. So this is a trick, and if you guys want to know how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so a lot of you have been, uh, you know, asking for a little bit more advanced tricks. Now, um, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm not necessarily the best at card tricks. This is just something that I kind of do as like a hobby and obviously for YouTube. So I'm not like, you know, some super magician, but I like to do, I like to show you guys just something you can do to impress people. So here's what this little intermediate trick would look like. So uh, the first step is you're going to want to get out the two uh, aces, obviously, but a tip is you're going to want to have maybe an older deck that's broken in, so I don't really use this deck a lot on my channel, but as you guys can see, there's a nice bend to the card. So um, if you want, you can go ahead and give your deck, I don't think these are gonna fare well, but these are old, so they obviously have that narrow bend. But you wanna make sure you have a deck that has a nice bend to it, because you want, when the cards are back to back, you want them to have a natural break. So you could spring the cards, whatever you wanna do. So essentially, you get the two aces out, you have the spectator go ahead and pick any card they want. In this case, let's say they pick the 10 of clubs. You take the 10, you tell them you're going to lose it in the middle. All I did was stick the card into the deck, get a little break just like this. Their card is right there. You go ahead, you pick up the top half, flip the bottom over, overhand shuffle the cards, and then essentially their cards on top. So I did a riffle shuffle here, and then I moved their 10 of clubs to the bottom. So all in all, you just have to move their 10 of clubs or their card to the bottom of the deck. So you don't have to do all that weird stuff, just get it to the bottom. At this point, you tell the spectators, all right, so go ahead and pick an ace. You're going to cut around three quarters of the cards like this. You cut the deck because there are cards on the bottom. You tell them, pick whatever ace you want, go ahead and put it into the deck, the middle. And you kind of slap it on top. You don't need that break anymore because you have the cards like this. You go ahead, you take the second ace, you put this around... I don't know, you just put this right around a quarter up from the deck just like that. So you have the deck split up into threes. And from here you need the excuse to um, to catch a break just above uh, this card right here. So this is their card at the bottom. So we have the ten of clubs there. And essentially when you're spreading out these cards, that's when you're going to get the break just above their card. Like this, you're going to square up the deck and you can square up the aces as well. So here's where your break is going to be. If I lift this up, you guys can see it's right above that card. You go ahead, you say, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck a few times, and we should be able, or the aces should be able to find your card. So from here, you cut the deck here, you put this on top. Now you're left with the ace, and the two aces just like that. And from here, you go ahead, you riffle down. So this way, you're cutting in between the aces. You leave this on the table, and there's going to be the ace. There's going to be their card. And like I said, there's going to be a natural break in the cards when the ace is back to back. That's why you want that um, that used deck. That way you can easily cut to that break. So this way when it's down, it should be a lot easier to cut to that natural break. You set this on top and that is gonna put the second ace sandwiching their card. So this is all gonna be closed up. They don't see that. You snap your fingers, you go ahead and then you can spread the cards revealing to the spectator that their card is actually in between the two black aces. So this is a trick, guys. 
Um, I hope you guys like it. I know it wasn't too advanced, but you guys wanted something a little bit more that wasn't as beginnerish. So, um, you know, if you liked the video, go ahead and subscribe. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.